thanks for checking out this video. This is in the playlist on calculators. And this is my first, uh, it's my second video in the playlist, um, but my first one showing you something. And I don't want these to be really long videos, you know, 20 minute videos saying go to this menu, go to this menu, go to this menu. Um, you can find that type of stuff in, in the manual. I just want to show you what the calculator can do. So something you see in, well, definitely college calculus, but even high school calculus, high school math, even before that in junior high, even before that in elementary school, you see, you know, adding numbers together. And that's called a series. But if you have a sequence, you have a sequence of numbers, say one, two, um, let's do one, ah, one, two, and three, for example. You know, that could be a series. Or, you know, let's just take x raised to the third power, where x equals 1, 2, and 3. So it will evaluate x cubed, where x equals 1, 2, and 3. So you get 1, 1 cubed is 1, 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27. So that is a series. I'm sorry, that is a sequence. Just numbers in, you know, some numbers in a list. Now a series adds these numbers together. So you'd have 1 plus 8 plus 27, which equals 36. So the 1 plus 8 plus 27, that's the series. Now you can do that on, the, um, on this calculator by doing the sum symbol and do x cubed. You have to tell it what variable you're summing over because, of course, expressions can have more than one variable. So I'm summing with respect to x from 1 to 3. And that'll give you 36. And I'll also write it in what the calculator, what Texas Instruments calls pretty print. Instead of writing it like this, if you have pretty print on, it'll write it like this. How you would actually write it, you know, by hand. Um, you can also edit this a little bit. So this does symbolic manipulation. So instead of summing from 1 to a number, let's just call it sum to m. Where m is just some, it's a variable, so it can be any number. And you get m squared times m plus 1 squared, all of that divided by 4. So you can just say, let's do this, and let's evaluate it where m equals 3. And we'll get 36. You can also do sequences like this. Let's do x um, cubed from, with respect to x, from 1 to 3. Oops, there we go. And then you can also, if you want to sum it, you can just type in sum in a parenthesis to sum it. So you can do it like that. A famous one is, you know, the story of, um, I think it was Goss in school. They asked, you know, they asked all the students to sum the numbers 1 to 100 and, you know, the the slow kids, or actually the probably normal and even above average intelligence kids, were starting to add up the numbers, you know, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, all the way up to 100. But <clears throat> Goss supposedly noted a cool pattern. So if we sum x from 1 to 100, you'll get this, 5,050. And supposedly he did that real quickly in his head, just boom, done. Because he noticed that if you sum the numbers from 1 to m, you get m times m plus 1 divided by 2. So all he had to evaluate was 100 times 101, 10,100, and divide it by 2. Okay, so thanks for watching. This was on um, just the very basics of sequences and series. We can go back and see what we did. So first started with a, with a sequence, then added it up to get a series, and then doing the actual function here, this the sum, doing it with a, a symbol here, a variable instead of a number. So you get the symbolic uh, manipulation, evaluating it, and then showing you several 
um, uh, other ways to do it, the uh, equivalent ways to do it. Alrighty. So thanks for watching. This is on series and sequences, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.